Hello everyone, this is Akshat and today I'll be telling you the reason why After Effects rendered some huge sizes of some really small clips. As you can see, this is the AVI format file, just a 3 second file and you can see it's 546 MB. I'll also tell you how to fix these issues. So let's jump into After Effects. As you can see, I've just, uh, you can see the composition settings, only 3 second composition I'm having and I've done a pretty basic effect, just a 3 second effect and I've rendered it in 3 different formats first one is AVI second one is H.264 and third one is QuickTime you can see all the 3 have the same file the same video clip and, and all are of the same length this is the H.264 one and the last is the QuickTime one there is not a huge noticeable difference between the three but if you compare these sizes AVI one is huge greater than 500 MB H.264 is just 500 KB <laughs> even lesser than that and QuickTime one is lesser than that of AVI greater than that of H.264 it lies somewhere in between and I assure you that you won't no uh, notice any noticeable difference between all the three all look almost the same so if you want to upload videos on YouTube like I do or any other purpose, any other uh, you are having some clients, you want to transfer your files to them through uh, you know Gmail or Google Drive, then it's not possible to upload so large file. And that too, it's useless. I mean, n there's not much quality bumper on this in this AVI. All are the same. So th the solution to this is pretty simple. Go to File, Export, Add to Render Queue and in this when you select by default it's set to AVI so you need to change this to H.264 or you can also change it to QuickTime I personally prefer H.264 as there's not a much difference between QuickTime and H.264 and H.264 um, it's basically the MP4 format it renders pretty pretty uh, normal average sized files so just do that audio output if you want uh, so, I guess this is all. It was easy, I guess. Just change it to H.264, press OK, change the file name to whatever you want, save, click on render, and it will render it. Uh, it will render a pretty, uh, you know, good file size. Pretty good. It will render this 496 KB. So, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, and I hope it solved your problem. And actually let me tell you a fun fact. The first file I rendered in After Effects, it was a 6 minute file. And by mistake I rendered it in AVI and it was 171 GB in size. Yes, you heard me, 171 GB. So, <laughs> okay. I hope I helped you. Thank you. Please subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out there.